I'd like to talk a little bit about the instructional design for my course. I've adopted the acronym VALID, which stands for the vision, the alignment, the lessons, the implementation, and finally the demonstration. As you develop a course, especially one that is game style, these aspects are essential to assist students to better understand how to execute through the levels of your course. In my course, level zero has the vision of the course, which is often what is included on your syllabus, but in addition should include core competencies, suggested items for them to review as background, and other materials that move them to be prepared for the course. The next thing is A for alignment, in which students are brought in to understand the tools of the course, your teaching style, the materials, and the mechanisms for assessment and evaluation you'll use. Then we move into lessons, in which you provide learning materials, activities, and resources for them to get the basic materials, the content, and all of the ideas necessary to accomplish the course. After that, you move into the implementation phase where students are asked to apply what they have learned and implement it in a way that they are able to test, receive formative feedback, and develop expertise and capacity in those lessons. Then finally, we have D for demonstration, which has the students apply what they have learned to a new task in order to demonstrate what they have done. In some valid designs, that LID is repetitive and iterative so that students work on a new lesson, implement it, learn from it, and demonstrate it, and then move on to another thing. Whereas in my course, you will go through it once so that there's a large learning block, and then learning continues through formative assessment as you apply those skills and finally are given a new portfolio task to sum up your work in a demonstration at the end.